Uh, I'm with John Badjo, who's Area Director Central Europe for FlexLink. Uh, how's the show going, John? Yeah, actually quite good. Uh, the show is uh, really excellent. Uh, it started well uh, the first couple of days uh, with a lot of visitors from Europe, uh, Germany, uh, Nordic and further on. And uh, during the weekend, uh, it was a lot of people coming uh, from uh, long distance like Japan and China and uh, the Arabic countries, uh, South America, further on. Quite good show. Okay. Well, just a background for our viewers. Um, first, I think if you just outline what uh, FlexLink is all about, and then I'd like you to tell me how it has been, because you've been part of the Croatia group for about three years, I think. Now. Uh, that's correct. Uh, yeah. Well, first of all, uh, FlexLink. Uh, FlexLink, uh, we interconnect machines in a smart way. That's actually what we do. But this is our birth. Uh, we still uh, do the same thing. Uh, and Kuisi acquired FlexLink, uh, well, roughly three years ago. Mm. Um, so our role in Kuisi is, of course, to continue what we are doing in uh, great. In other words, uh, uh, in the integration business uh, with FlexLink. But in addition, our role is also to interconnect uh, the Kuisi assist the company machines to, from the customer point of view, to create uh, some kind of a totally integrated, complete uh, line. That's what we are aiming at. Now, th that sort of clustering effect that, that, that your customer base gets by, by you being part of Croatia, I mean, I could imagine there must be very, very many benefits of being part of such a big group. It's a lot of benefits uh, because we get access uh, to the bigger scope, so that's a big, big benefit. Uh, we also uh, have a good uh, trust uh, effect, uh, um, having a really fantastic sister companies uh, in the Quisia group, of course. Um, and in, in addition, uh, it's, uh, it's also very, very challenging. It's very, very challenging sure. uh, to, uh, to be a part of this uh, exciting opportunity. Has uh, being part of Croatia uh, extended your customer base in any way? Well, uh, not so much extended. Um, I would say it's uh, roughly within the same customer base, uh, all the big names uh, we had before and we still do. The, the main difference is not uh, the, um, the names further on, it's the depth and the height, uh, which is the, and the, the process we are covering. That's the main difference, I would say. Now, mm. you're very well known in the dry uh, sort of product area in conveying dry products, but I believe you're moving into semi-wet now. Yeah, uh, we, we've been in, in the dry segment many, many years. That's, uh, again, our birth, uh, really. Uh, since uh, three years back, we've been moving into the semi-wet area. And uh, today, or at this trade show, we uh, introduce, uh, uh, let's say, the bigger wave uh, entering into this semi-wet uh, industry uh, with roughly the same type of uh, design ideas we had from the dry side. Uh, yes. I imagine, though, that, that must uh, require <clears throat> Um, some care and consideration in the construction of your conveying lines. I mean, food hygiene is what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, completely different. Uh, the dry and the semi-wet is completely different. And uh, uh, let, let, let us show that a little bit later what we mean with it. But uh, <clears throat> it's very, very important. Uh, the, the drainage aspect, the self-drainage aspect is very, very important. The cleaning aspect is very, very important. Uh, normally, as we understand it from uh, our customer discussions, Normally, the cleaning takes uh, sometimes 30, 40 percent of the total production time. Uh, and uh, we've been uh, working a lot with this uh, uh, topic and uh, designing the equipment in, such, equipment in such a way so we can maybe uh, reach half of that time to, for, for the, the cleaning purposes, as Ab example. Absolutely. 40 yeah. percent. I mean, that's a lot of downtime. That's, a, yeah, that's an expensive... This uh, is uh, what we uh, received as information from our customers. Very uh, good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Well, um, what sort of customers have you been seeing here at the show this week? Well, <laughs> customers in the packaging industry, of course. Um, I would say uh, all the international customers uh, have been here visiting, um, all the n n named or uh, famous brands, I would say, uh, yeah. have been here. Um, I don't know how to answer this question because it's, uh, <laughs> it's quite wide. <laughs> well, I, I, people, yeah. I, we always wonder, because um, you've obviously invested an enormous amount in being here at Interpac. Yes. I mean, this is, I, I can't imagine the cost of putting this machinery into the show. Um, so what do you always hope to get out of a show? Is it sales or is it profile or is it leads? What, what, is, what is the big sort of takeaway for a company like FlexLink? Well, uh, it's very much about image. I would say that's very, very important. And image uh, today uh, is a business tomorrow. So that's uh, very, very important. And of course, uh, uh, to get leads. Uh, leads is very important as well. That's normally a business opportunity the next uh, three or maybe six months. Mm. And uh, normally we... Uh, we um, 
and I sort of believe in this case as well, in this trade show, that we will get uh, really good business opportunities coming from this uh, trade show. Uh, so it's a business and image uh, combined. Uh, well, yeah. thank you very much for your time. I have to say that it's probably one of the most attractive stands in the exhibition. Yeah, thank you very uh, much. And you're to be complimented. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Well, I'm, I'm here with Frederick Boberg, who's sales manager for Flexlink. And, and behind us, of course, is a, a, an integrated line running. And it's demonstrating two things. First of all, Flexlink conveying systems. But what we're really talking about is production logistics, aren't we? And the benefit of a clustered a group of companies all contributing towards one-stop solutions. Yes, that's correct. So just run through it. I mean, what is happening behind us, Frederick? Well, this is an example where we have integrated equipment from uh, HAPA, Lettus, ADMV. It's printing, inspection, it's robotics. An example of what Flexlink can do in the Quisa group, but also in the, in the market in general, integrating lines. Who inside who inside Croatia coordinates this kind of integration? It's Flexlink's role, I would say. So, yeah, that's uh, the part we would take care of. And uh, it's not only connecting the machines, it's also about managing the complete uh, uh, efficiency of the complete line, balancing the different speeds and tack times of machines. It's also about monitoring efficiency and uh, bottlenecks and stop causes and stuff like that. So it's, it's more than just conveying. It seems like a very compact system, the way that you've arranged it. It looks like you've made the optimum use of space that's available for this kind of system. Yes, I mean, uh, we're also trying to reuse all the resources available and, and space is one important resource or asset. And we are known for being three-dimensional in the conveying system, so that's one part of it, yes. And the sort of uh, products that would be going down this line, would they be dry, would they be wet? Uh, is there any uh, difference between the two? Yeah, I mean, this uh, application is a more classic flexing application for dry product right. products. But uh, recently we're expanding into the more wet uh, food production as well. Well, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that because just over here, in fact, is, is something that is completely new. Shall we walk over and have a look? Yes. So just tell me, Frederick, what have we got here? And it's obviously attracting a lot of interest, I can see. Yeah, this is a new, uh, brand new WLX uh, wide conveyor. It's designed for uh, hygienic uh, production and, and uh, if high efficiency, uh, meaning that you should make the cleaning very efficient and get a very good result from a hygienic point of view. Perhaps you'd like to point out some of the details on it. Um, the, the belt itself, uh, is that wider than usual? It looks wider than usual. Yeah, for flexing, uh, we have a similar system in aluminum as well, but we're not really known for the wide belts. Uh, but this is a uh, second uh, launch of a wide belt, the stainless range. Uh, and, and it's made of stainless steel, is that correct? Yeah. yeah. And, and all the component parts too. Yes, the, all the components are made of stainless steel and it's all designed for easy cleaning and, and uh, efficient cleaning. Uh, you can see here all the parts are standing out. We don't have any pockets or hollow profiles or anything like that. Now, I know your colleague uh, was saying that, that sometimes the, the downtime, the cleaning and maintenance, can take up to about 40% of the available time on the shift. I mean, this system presumably cuts that considerably, is that right? Yes. So what we've done here is to design everything to be efficient. When you're cleaning, it's getting very clean and it's fast. Uh, for example, we are only uh, displacing or removing uh, instead of removing parts. So everything you displace but not remove. So you just fold, fold the arms back again, then you can run very quickly. So the result is, is two. You save time and you get a very high level of hy hygienic uh, standards in your production. And all this tooling is done by Flexlink, I believe, is that right? Yes, all the parts are tool bound, like this one here, the, the stainless cast iron, uh, all these parts here are, are tool bound, so high quality, uh, repeatability, and uh, we can also have a design which allows for better hygienic uh, properties. Which is essential in the, in the food industry, increasingly so, I believe, isn't it? Yeah, as far as we understand, the, the, the market is uh, having higher and higher demands on hygienic due to uh, less uh, preserving um, uh, content in the food. You want to have higher, longer shelf, shelf life. Um, so all these uh, aspects uh, gives the, the requirement on higher, higher 
hygienic. In moving um, from or extending out from dry to, to wet or semi-wet products, that brings in a completely new customer base, I imagine. Now, is a, have you had any benefit from being part of Croatia in researching that customer base and identifying uh, your likely uh, sales prospects? Yes, of course, the, the cons fast mover consumer goods market is the main market for Croatia. So with Croatia together, we of course have access to other customers and other uh, you know, reputation at the customer base. So we are having more open doors for this, I think, together well, with Croatia. We wish you well with the product. It looks very good um, and I hope you have great success. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you.